Ruby Bella revealed their mother Katie is recovering well after brain surgery. We are just so happy that she has light at the end of the tunnel. Nikki Bella and her twin sister Bree gave their fans a positive update on their mother Katie's condition on Wednesday after she underwent brain surgery. The 36-year-old former WWE wrestlers announced on the newest episode of the Bella's podcast that their mom is now on the road to recovery, which will be about six months to a year. Katie underwent her brain surgery in late June and her daughter said they had a great conversation with her shortly after she woke up. On the mend, it's been so nice, it's just like to see our mom be our mom again, Bree said, though she added that Katie was very beat up. The two totally Bella stars started a beat about their mother's recovery, which is so happy that she has light at the end of the tunnel, Bree continued. She explained that her mom was initially believed to be suffering from Bell's palsy due to facial paralysis. Majority of her face was paralyzed, it was her left side. You saw it a lot in her eye and her mouth and her forehead, she explained. Her family were tipped off to something more serious when Katie woke up with her whole face numb while she was extremely dizzy and couldn't taste food. Bree and Nikki's stepfather, John, Laurie Natas took their mother to the hospital at that point, and the doctor soon discovered a mess on our mother's brain stem as big as blueberry. The brain stem, which is located at the base of the brain and connects with the spinal cord, is responsible for regulating heart and lung functioning as well as sleep, and it also transfers motor and sensory signals from the body to the brain and back. It was sticking out of a brain stem and it was starting to hit nerves, Nikki said. It was growing rapidly. Re and Katie's doctors ultimately decided to operate after considering delaying it due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic because the tumor was located on a fatal spot. My mom is actually so lucky that she saw the symptoms on her face because if she didn't have any symptoms and walking around with this, down the road it could have been fatal, we continued. The two wrestlers were left in anxious agony as the surgery estimated to take four to six hours by the doctors ended up going well over schedule. On the seventh hour, we hadn't heard from any of the doctors, Nikki said, so you can imagine we were super nervous. They just really took the time in there and they really cleaned everything out and wanted to double check. Her sister described the surgery as very successful and their fans were likely to get to see Katie's health journey on future episodes of Totally Bellas. My mom really wanted the cameras to roll because obviously we all like know but my mom's like think of how many people out there think they have Bell's palsy or they have certain symptoms and the doctors don't give them MRIs on their brain. And then they find out they have these growths or tumors or cancer and it's so late in the game, Nikki revealed. Last week, Nikki shared a short video to Instagram revealing that Mama Bella had a very successful surgery. Can't thank you all enough for your prayers, love, light, and beautiful words. Can't wait for my mom to see how loved she is. It's going to mean the world to her, she continued in the caption. The stressful surgery happened as both Nikki and Bree are expecting children. Back in January, their father Jonathan Garcia told Fox News that his twins are expecting their children only about two weeks apart with the expected due dates in late July and early August. Bree is engaged to her dancing with the star's pro partner, Tim Tikvinsev, whom she performed with on season 25 of the long-running competition. The couple began a relationship in January 2019, and they announced their engagement on January 3rd, 2020. Nikki announced their first pregnancy on January 29th, the same day that Brie announced she was pregnant for the second time with her husband, Daniel Ryan, who is also a professional wrestler. 